And the countdown is proceeding. The weather is perfect at Cape Canaveral. The weather is absolutely perfect here and downrange. There's plenty of time. It's one minute and 30 seconds now. Plenty of time for the three orbits. <clears throat> it should be pointed out that John Glenn can be brought back at the end of either the first or second orbit if for any reason it is thought that's necessary. One minute and 15 seconds now. One minute and 10 seconds. He may, he, it is possible that he would not go into orbit at all. Uh, if that is chosen after he gets up over Bermuda, he can be brought back safely. One minute. MA6 launch countdown is T-minus one minute and counting. T-minus one minute and counting. All systems are reported in a go condition. John Glenn reports he is ready. This is Mercury Control. And now it's 45 seconds. And now it's 35 seconds. 30 seconds. This is Mercury Control, the MA6 count, T minus 30 and counting. T minus 30 25. seconds and counting. It's a few seconds late, it's 20 seconds now. The Mercury spacecraft 15. umbilical is out. We're at T minus 19 seconds. T minus 10 seconds, counting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off the MA6 vehicle. up there the contrails of jet fighter craft that are following this first stage the of flight. MA-6 vehicle is climbing nicely, has passed through the area of maximum dynamic pressures. Pilot John Glenn is reporting all systems go, is giving routine reports, reading off his instruments. John Glenn reports the flight very smooth now. That burst of contrail you see there is as the rocket the MA6 clears the atmosphere. Proceeding on its pre-planned trajectory. It's on target, on trajectory. I'm glad reports his cabin pressure now holding at 6.1 pounds per square inch. Reports from Mercury Control sound the good. Six vehicle is still climbing on its trajectory. John Glenn reports the G forces building now to uh, six. Booster engine cutoff has been confirmed by the pilot. Telemetry indications in the Mercury Control Center have confirmed booster engine staging. The pilot has confirmed booster engine staging. That means that the two big booster engines that got Glenn off the pad have now dropped Pilot away. reports that the escape tower has separated. Our telemetry in the Mercury Control Center confirms that the tower has separated. That's the escape tower that Glenn no longer needs. He can bring that, that capsule back safely from uh, the height he has reached now, which is about 100 miles. He's now nearly 500 miles downrange, nearly 100 miles. The vehicle is now climbing on its trajectory. Three minutes and five seconds of flight time. 
It is far on its pre-planned trajectory. Pilot reports that the G-forces are building up once again under the acceleration of the sustainer engine. Bermuda reports that it has acquired telemetry signals from the spacecraft. John Glenn reports everything looks good. You saw his nurse, the Dee O'Hara, there as she happily watched this launch as we all did. A most successful launch. In another minute now, Glenn will reach the next critical stage, which is whether he will make this orbit or not. According, though, to Power's announcements from Mercury Control, if the trajectory is proper... The is climbing nicely on its trajectory. John Glenn reports his fuel system as planned. His oxygen system is all okay. He reports his electrical power all okay. If this trajectory is as good as it Our appears... The station reports it has a valid track on the MA-6 vehicle. Then apparently Glenn will go into orbit. That critical stage will be reached in another 30 seconds. At that time... John Glenn reports his cabin pressure holding at 5.8 pounds per square inch. At that moment uh, of going into orbit through the keyhole, the directors here have 20 seconds to determine that the orbit is correct uh, or they order Glenn back. John Glenn reports all systems are go. The MA-6 vehicle is approaching its sustainer engine cutoff point. John reports all systems in the spacecraft are go. The flight trajectory still looks good. He should be over Bermuda now. We have a report from the Mercury spacecraft that the sustainer engine has cut off as planned. John Glenn reports zero G and I feel fine. He says the view is tremendous. He's got clear weather to look at the Atlantic. He can see uh, all the way up the Glenn coast. reports he could see the booster turning around behind him. He advised that he thought the sight of the booster falling away behind him was a beautiful sight to see. The booster will follow the spacecraft through all three of its orbits, uh, growing a slight distance further John away. John reports he can see a very large cloud back pattern clear back toward Cape Canaveral and says it's a beautiful sight. We should have a report. Astronaut John Glenn now reports his spacecraft has turned around. The blunt heat shield is facing the direction of flight and is tilted up about 34 degrees above horizontal. This is the desired pre-planned orbital attitude. All indications here are that we will have, we will be able to confirm orbit within a matter of a couple of minutes. This is Mercury Control. And that is the announcement we wait for. Obviously, the men in Mercury Control themselves know at this time pretty definitely that an orbit has taken place but uh, they will confirm it to us, as you heard, in a couple of minutes. They have only a few seconds, actually, to make a choice on whether to continue to go after the orbit uh, attitude has been assumed, uh, because after that, if they desire to bring him back, uh, he would land on the continent of Africa. And while the spacecraft is perfectly capable of landing on ground, uh, the landing would be rather hard, and they prefer to land at sea. Furthermore, they don't particularly care for the thought of having to search out the spacecraft in the vast reaches of the African continent. Although, with the equipment they have available, uh, they can pinpoint within a uh, very short distance, within perhaps a mile, this is the actual landing control. position. We'd like to confirm the liftoff time as 9.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at Cape Canaveral. Liftoff time, 9.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Friendship 7 spacecraft, that's pilot John Glenn, is now in contact with Bermuda. This is Mercury Control. 9.47 a.m. was the liftoff time.